your body is the most amazing computer in the world. And we've been talking the last few weeks about how your body, mind, spirit work together and create your world, your reality, and the fact that every experience you have, every relationship experience, every interpretation you have of that experience gets stored in your body. The first week in part one, we talked about your nerves and how they connect to different muscle systems and organ systems. We talked about the chakras and meridians in your body and your energy bodies. The second week, we talked about your skeletal system and how things get stored and vulnerable in your skeleton, in your bone system. Today, we wind up the introduction to how you create your relationship intelligence by talking about your teeth. So every single tooth in your mouth is connected to a meridian. And you may remember meridians are energy highways. Each meridian has a very specific emotional issue in your life. So it's really important. It's important for many reasons, but it's really important for your health and well-being, your emotional, your physical, your spiritual well-being to keep your teeth. Now, obviously, there are other reasons you want to keep your teeth, but I'm not going in to the physical aspects today because we're talking about how you're building your relationship intelligence because that is the only way you create health, happiness, and success in every area of your life. Now, I see a really excellent husband and wife team of holistic dentists, and I'm going to give you the link below so that you can go, and it's an interactive site, and you can click on each tooth and see what the emotional issues are connected to each tooth. Now, you can also, last week I showed you Annette Noontal's book, Your Body's the Barometer of Your Soul, and she explains, again, what each tooth is about. And just in general, to give you a concept, she talks about your upper teeth have to do with outflow, which means what the plan is going to be when finished. Well, what plan? The plan of your life. Seeing the big picture of your plan. And then the lower teeth are about planning for new experiences. So all of these issues come into play in creating your vulnerabilities, in creating any conditions, any discomforts, in creating your reality. It's helpful to know which teeth are involved with what. And it's also critical to know, in fact, if you contact me, and you'll see a contact form on the page over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com slash contact. I will send you a copy, a sheet, all about what amalgam fillings do in your body. Now, just real quick, those are sometimes called silver fillings. There's a teensy amount of silver in them, but they look kind of silver in the mouth. I thought they were long outlawed because the dentist I was seeing 30, 40 years ago was working and constantly appearing before Congress to get them outlawed. Apparently, they're not outlawed in the U.S. A lot of dangerous things aren't outlawed in the U.S. That's one of them. Also, what's not outlawed in the U.S. is fluoride. That's also outlawed in other countries because it's really dangerous. Now. The other thing that my dentist all those years ago was working on was root canals. Now studies have shown that 100% of women with breast cancer, where they did an investigation into their dental history, 100% of the women in the studies had experienced root canals. 
Root canals are one of the most dangerous procedures because of the bacteria that gets released into the jawbone, that gets into the blood system, that can go to the brain. Now, I did want to mention something really important in regard to mercury fillings. Please do contact me so that I can send you a copy of that information of all the negative things that can happen to your body and do happen whether or not they're in your awareness because there's mercury in your mouth. For one thing, that mercury is constantly seeping out into your bloodstream. It's in your mouth. Things in your mouth go into your brain. I had a 20-year-old client once and he was diagnosed with schizophrenia. I knew his mom, so she brought him to see me and I do an intake. If you go to a doctor that doesn't do an intake and find out about your life, go see another doctor. And the same is true for a dentist. Anyway, during the intake, one of the first questions I asked, do you have silver fillings in your mouth? Well, he did. And I said to his mom, you go get them removed, gave her the name of a dentist who does it safely. It's an extremely dangerous procedure for you, for the dentist, and it must be done by somebody highly experienced so nobody gets sick. Well, the bottom line is he had the silver fillings removed, no more schizophrenia, because it never was schizophrenia. It was poisoning from the mercury. Now, I had a friend who had fibromyalgia, had her fillings removed. No more fibromyalgia. So there are all kinds of things that go wrong with your body if you've got amalgam fillings in your mouth. So please go in down below, go on over to the dentist's side, take a look at the different aspects of different emotional issues connected with each tooth. Contact me for a copy of what amalgam fillings do in your body. And go on over to yourrelationshipintelligence.com and start building your relationship intelligence because now you have a really good background of what it is, how it is, and why you want to build it. You're creating your life in every moment. You're creating your health, your happiness, and your success, or the lack thereof, in every moment. Do it with conscious awareness. Pay attention to what happens in every relationship experience. You have the relationships with you and yourself, you and your higher self, you and your spirit, you and other people, you and a higher power. Again, I'm Allie Bierman. You can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.